Hey everybody, Goldie here. We are running it back with Sonia Deville. Hair up and square up. No MP, no problem. 99 MP to every single move. Is it necessary? No. Is it fun? Yeah. All right. So we're going to start with the build I wanted to run. Uh, we're using the finisher, which makes cross breaks into red. The bottom rope choke, which is a choose red submission. And then the spear, which makes cross break gems. Um, and I wanted to do this because I wanted to use the gremlin's ears plate to boost the red gem damage. So we don't need MP trainers. Nikki ASH for 12k. Um, Acro Jeff Hardy for plus three cross breaks and 50% more cross break damage. Tech Stacy for the flat 12k. And then Zombie Cena for more cross breaks. Wanted to use the Gremlin's Ears skill plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your red and blue gem damage by 100% for two turns. And we're using the Seal of the Acolyte Ultimate plate. Whenever you make six or more submission gems, increase all of your gem damage by 50% for your next turn. So I'm hoping this is going to be a really, really strong turn too. Let's see. So starting with 55k on our red gems, we don't have to worry about making any matches because we have all the MP in the world. I am fully expecting feud perks to be nine, minus 99 MP just for no reason whatsoever. Uh, okay, 76k. Let's throw these out. So our red cross breaks are 86 and a half. Hit the finisher. Okay. Six points up. That's it's okay. Can't exactly hide the disappointment in my voice. I was kind of hoping for more. Um, I mean, I guess a trickster. It has the hardcore ability against a trickster, so. Probably a situational use there, uh, but that is one build. Let's go test some other stuff. Next build we're going to revisit is the triple red. So choose black, make random cross breaks, and choose multiply. And no MP means we get to bring out the Mosh and Sherry duo. Um, five more multiply gems and an extra multi-gem strength from Mosh times four. Four more to the multiply gems from Sherry. So now these are times 15s. And then uh, Riddle and Bree to make more black gems. So we're choosing 11 black. We're choosing 12 multiply. Uh, bringing back the Queen's Tiara plate. Whenever you make six or more multiply gems, increase your black gem damage by 50% for two turns. Bringing back the I Pity the Fool plate because I want to get as many black gems out on the board as possible. Let's see what we can get this to hit for. All right, what are we doing? 42 black poo blah blah all right it left me one black job thank you um i guess i'm covering up some of these cross breaks eh Times 15. Uh, so 51k on the black gems from the tiara. 779. All right. 779. I think that's all of them. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, okay. I do know. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. Y'all were fooled. That was a test. I was testing you. 10.6. Goldie finally did something. All right. Uh, there's one more build I wanted to take a look at. A little different from everything else I've been running. So let's go. Let's go take a peek. All right. Last build I'm going to be taking a look at. Bringing back the finisher and the double reds. The DDT and the spear and... Uh, we're doing something a little different because uh, that finisher is huge. Huge. So we are going to boost it as much as humanly possible. EO for 100%. Acro Ozka for 150%. Showboat Lita for 50%. And Gooker for 40%. So that base 
is 1.1. Before the belt, it is 5 mil. And uh, I've been sitting on this belt wondering who I would put it on. I have 100% move damage for modern female striker. And Shayna was holding it for a little bit strictly for the reversal. I think I found a new home for it. I think I found a new home for it. So 100% move damage on the belt. Two sets of takedown twos. Shout out to Rob Van Dam again uh, for letting me use his medals. Uh, we're using the Hogan plate. So whenever you break 20 or more gems, increase your black move damage by 300%. So we're getting, once the Hogan plate triggers, we're getting 712% to the finisher. And uh, shout out to hockey. Sometimes you got to make, take a hit to make a play. So we are going to just kind of swipe on turn one to absolutely annihilate Lita on turn two. Uh, she has 15.3 million health. I don't think that's going to be enough. I don't think that's going to be enough, but it, it's what we have. So, Sonia, hair up, babe. All right. So before the Hogan plate even triggers, we have the finisher doing 9.5 mil. That's crazy. You can round it up to 9.6, but that's a little dishonest in it. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. Sometimes you got to take a hit to make a play. Our cross break gems, our gem damage in general is ass. So she should kick out, right? She should kick out. We're just doing this to trigger the plate. She has a class advantage. If she doesn't kick out, I swear to God. Yeah. Yeah. 1.1. All right. Oh, this is going to be good. She's got 13 and a half. The finisher is doing 13. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. I don't even need to put out the other moves. Good night. Oh, and it was a critical and she didn't have enough. Oh, my God. She didn't have enough health. We want to get to showboat and everything. Um... That's nasty. That's nasty. I like that. I know, big numbers. But, uh, hey, look. We got some gem damage. We got some power gem damage. We have a super sub. And uh, lo and behold, we have some move damage. So that's how we run it back with no MP trainers. None of this is realistic when the boost runs out. Uh, but let me know what you think. What are y'all coming up with for these... Uh, no MP needed builds. Uh, thank you very much for watching.